the flame of space exploration is once again reigniting, catalyzing changes in the new space economy. Ever since the conclusion of the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union, there has been no serious interest of the same level in the following decades. However, people turned their eyes upward once again when CEO Elon Musk stated his prediction and plans in a conference in 2016 referring to the SpaceX program. This motivated the people to look for a plan to either effectively sustain humanity or look for an alternative world altogether. Although late, the Chinese government has joined in the fray as well, with the goal of declaring itself as a new superpower that has the capability to move the human race one step higher up the cosmic ladder. Their efforts thus far have provided much advancement in the space program, especially with the establishment of their own National Space Administration, or CNSA, that is currently planning its future space ventures. Now, China wants to probe Uranus and Jupiter with two spacecraft on one rocket. Here's all the details. Welcome back to Space Infinity. Before blast-off mode is activated, follow the protocol by smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and trigger that notification button. Tianwen Exploration In 2020, they sent their first spacecraft called Tianwen-1, or Heavenly Questions, to the Red Planet, which landed safely in May 2021, along with the Zorong rover. China's space race gathers its pace with their announcement of Tianwen-2's sample return mission to the near-Earth asteroid Kamo Oalewa in 2025, and to follow that with Tianwen-3, flying its own sample return mission to Mars in 2028. Secretary General Zhu Honglong of the Chinese Space Agency stated that upcoming exploratory missions have been confirmed by their government and were undergoing approval procedures which largely focused on Mars exploration before 2030. Then what's their goal after 2030? They answered this question during the International Astronautical Congress in Paris this September, unveiling their plans of an ambitious dual-planet mission for Tianwen-4 that will be launched in the early 2030s. The mission would include two spacecraft, the larger of which would be targeted for Jupiter, and would enter orbit around the Jovian moon, Callisto. A second, smaller spacecraft would then fly onto Uranus. In spite of having great achievements for space exploration like having the first spacecraft to land on the dark side of the moon, named Chang'e 4, making the dual planet mission into reality is a whole new league. With more than 250 robotic spacecraft being launched into space since 1958, with the purpose of exploring beyond our own planet, only nine NASA spacecraft have either flown by or orbited Jupiter, with none being able to orbit its moons while only one spacecraft, NASA Voyager 2, has ever observed Uranus that flew by in 1986, Kluger 2022. Each launch has multiple stages that starts with the planning stage and ends with the retrieval of information or the recovery of the craft itself. Just the first few stages take a lot of blood, sweat, and tears as you meticulously chart the course. Build a working spacecraft that can withstand the dangers of space, communication capabilities, and so on. The movie Hidden Figures portrays a fraction of the challenges of figuring out how to send a man a few hundred kilometers upward into orbit that took hundreds of people and months of discussion. Although unmanned, imagine the difficulty of sending a satellite to orbit a Mercury-sized moon 628 million kilometers away while maintaining ship integrity throughout its voyage, even more so for Uranus. Interplanetary dust storms, meteors, and fuel are only some of the biggest problems the space program will encounter when figuring out how they'll achieve their goal. Granting all this may seem inconceivable, there's already a pre-research paper proposed by a group of Chinese planetary scientists and engineers regarding a new type of power generator that may even work for a Neptune orbiter. Jones 2022 the mission profile of the Chinese rocket, as stated by a CNSA official, include a flyby around Venus and two flybys past Earth as to use the two planets' gravity for building momentum and setting them on the intended course. Although it may seem counterintuitive, this plan has already been used multiple times to save fuel and energy with the hopes of reaching its end goals. As China presented a fairly elaborate plan to launch its two probes on a single long March 5 rocket, Scientists are asking what is their goal once it's there. It remains uncertain as China has yet to share the details of the scientific goals for these missions, Space.com reports. The missions, alongside the plan for an international lunar research station built by Russia and China, aims to promote the utilization of human resources to create a new pattern of international cooperation in space exploration to make contributions to the peaceful use of space. Many can only guess as to what the exact goals of the mission are, however most of the speculations are related to finding another habitable planet or an important resource. 
As they say, space is an untapped resource pool. The only problem is how to procure it efficiently. Just from small asteroids, we can already find rich amounts of certain metals, such as cobalt and nickel, while the moon contains abundant minerals. In the Jovian moon's case, which was initially regarded as an ugly duckling moon, there was more to it than meets the eye. The hunk of rock and ice, with its crater-covered surface, didn't seem to have much going on. No tectonic plate movement or active volcanoes. But since NASA's Galileo spacecraft recorded the moon back in the 1990s, it revealed that a salty ocean may be present beneath its surface. The presence of water alone made it into the list of worlds that could possibly harbor life. Moreover, scientists announced in 1999 that the Galileo spacecraft detected a very thin carbon dioxide exosphere as well as oxygen and hydrogen after further research, making it a possible place where life could exist in our solar system beyond Earth. Now Uranus, on the other hand, is leaning towards the mysterious side of the solar system. As the second farthest planet, only NASA's Voyager 2 was able to get a glimpse of the blue-green giant. After traveling more than 1.8 billion miles, the satellite gathered as much data as possible in its six-hour window, while the rest of the information about it comes from observations via powerful telescopes. Potential for life in the planet is shot down immediately due to its harsh environment, such as 560 miles per hour wind speeds, extremely cold temperature and toxic atmosphere. Although there are traces of water, it is currently impossible for a spacecraft to even enter its atmosphere. But the biggest mystery is its rotation. With a tilt of 97.7 degrees, it causes the most extreme seasons in the solar system. For nearly a quarter of each Uranian year, the sun shines directly over each pole, plunging the other half of the planet into a 21-year-long dark winter. It is also only one of two planets that rotate in the opposite direction, Venus being the other. In spite of all of that, any kind of discovery that is found by the Chinese satellite is going to be a big plus for astronomers. In this second space race, China is gaining momentum at a ridiculous pace, especially with the verdict of allowing commercial investment to pour in the space sector. Although it is not yet comparable to the multi-billion faction of the U.S. space program, it may certainly reach that point. Their drive to improve is mostly due to how they view space capabilities as an essential factor for economic development and building a digital China. Currently, the country is focusing on the development of its human lunar landing that's supposed to take place within the decade. However, earlier this year, their submitted white paper regarding the space program has yet to offer concrete plans for such missions, or an explicit commitment to carry them out, more so for their outer solar system endeavors. In the document, it states the objective to continue studies and research on the plan for a human lunar landing, develop new generation manned spacecraft. The absence of any concrete proposals suggests that Chinese leaders may have concerns about investing in such an expensive endeavor, or about China's ability to accomplish such a goal. But in the end, it will all depend on its allocation of resources and their willingness to push the boundaries of space. It is undeniable that such achievements will provide China with prestige benefits, both internationally and domestically. It will also provide the country the opportunity to show its space capacity, which may lead to them being the 21st century space icon. President Xi Jinping highlighted after its successful Chang'e 4 moon landing, Experience tells us that great undertakings begin with dreams, and dreams are the source of vitality. China is a nation that pursues dreams bravely. Interested in more vital news about the cosmos? Hit that like and subscribe button, then head to the Space Infinity Archive for more informative and riveting videos.